Tonight, police need your help looking for the person responsible in a deadly hit and run. A man in a wheelchair was out with his dog when he was hit and killed not far from his home. Yeah, so Robert Stalter was just days away from turning 52 years old. As Joe Ripley reports from Henry County, his family has waited 10 days for answers and for justice. Joseph Morrison loves to fish. His ink proves that, and he has Robert Stalter, or Uncle Rob, to thank for that fishing affection. He was always there my entire life. You know, he, uh, honestly, there was a point in time he was kind of like my dad figure in my life. Morrison's love for his father figure stayed strong even in loss. First, when blood clots resulted in the loss of his uncle's legs, leaving him wheelchair bound. Then, a time to celebrate on Labor Day weekend turned south. Me and my wife were actually on the way to find out the uh, gender of our baby, and uh, my mom called me uh, hysterical. Um, you know, said that your uncle got hit. You'll see signs posted all over the Audubon Estates neighborhood, the last place where Robert Stalter was seen before he was hit and killed. He got hit and was left there to die on the side of, of the road. You know, I can hit a golf ball further you know, from where he was to his house. You know, it just, and that's the saddest thing to me. You know, he was just walking his dog. Around 8 a.m. Saturday, September 2nd, Stalter's dog Smoke scampered back home with a broken leash and the family knew something was wrong. The dog is very traumatized. He needs to go to the vet. Uh, he's not eating, uh, has nightmares all night long. Henry County Police believe someone driving a gray 2008 Nissan Altima hit Stalter and drove off. They say they're now looking for a person last seen wearing red shorts and a gray shirt and urge anyone with information to come forward. Meantime, Joseph Morrison has a lot to look back on. He loved holidays. You know, those are going to be really, really difficult this year. And despite his loss, a lot to look forward to. And just hope that, you know, in the next coming days, couple weeks, that we get an answer. Because that's all, all we care about is the justice. In Henry County, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.